talk about doing SEO in Concrete 5. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, and it's the magical art of getting your site number one on Google. The first thing that you're worried about if you're worried about SEO is the page title tag. Title tag is used to build this little string up here in the top of your browser. It's what shows up in people's bookmark lists, and it's actually the blue link that Google and Bing and other search engines use to link to your site. The simplest way to impact that is to go to your editing toolbar, click properties, and change the name of your page. I'm just going to change this from about to about this site. <clears throat> and when I save and reload the page, you'll see right up here this has changed to about this site. You'll also notice that it says concrete five site with two colons after it. That string pulls from your site name and it's part of the template and if you're willing to get into code you can change the basic order of these around a little bit and that's beyond this how-to but if you just want to override this page to have a very specific title string you can do that as well. I'm going to go back into properties and instead of using the name field I'm going to go to custom attributes. You can see here is meta title, meta description, meta keywords. If any of these are set they'll override the fields that we would set under standard properties. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to turn on meta title and meta description and put something short in there. Just a page title and just the description. You'll also notice on standard properties we've got this description here. It says learn how awesome stuff is. I'm going to save this and show you how it all adds up. So when I reload the page, first thing you'll notice is right away it says just a page title in the browser header here. And if I view source, you can look at the code, you can see here's the description, it says just the description. And there's the title tag. The reason that you might want those different is you'll notice the page title here, excuse me, the page name is what we use on navigations. <clears throat> so the name is still about this site, but the title is now just a page title. If I come back to the home page, I've added a page list block. This is a block that comes with your default install. I use it for building navigations. And you can see here we're using that initial description field and displaying that as kind of a more info about the page, even though the uh, meta description is different because we set that custom attribute. So just to review, properties, the name and description field under standard properties, those are used by default for the meta title and meta description, but if you want to override the meta title and description, just turn on those custom attributes. Same idea with keywords, although this emerging standard is no one really uses these. Perhaps Bing. No one really knows. Like I said, it's, it's a magical art. The other thing that you might want to do for search engine optimization is make sure that all of your images have alt tags. There's a couple of different ways that you can place images in Concrete 5. Uh, most popular are using the image block and then using inline images in the content block. So I'm actually going to put the page in edit mode. And you can see as I roll over blocks that I have permissions to edit, they highlight. And I'm going to hit edit on this image. And you can see right here is the alt text caption. Unless you're using a special custom template, it's not actually going to display a caption. So you can put your alt tag in here. Um, it's great for SEO. Down here we have a content block that has an inline image. So I'm going to click that content block hit edit. Within the content editor I can select the image and I find this cute little landscape icon. When I click that you can see there's two fields here, image description and title. Image description is the alt tag and title is what happens when you roll over it. So let's change that rollover. Rollover text. Oops, text. I will save that. And if I go ahead and publish my edits, you'll see as I roll over that, I'll get the rollover text. But if I go and view source, <laughs> do, 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 there is the alt tag. So that's how you change your page title, your page description, add keywords, and change all of the alt tags. Another thing I should point out if you're interested in SEO is your vanity URLs. So if I go back to properties 
and you go to page path and location you can see uh, here is the base URL of our site and we have not turned on pretty URLs so you still see index PHP uh, and here's more URLs this is the home page this is a bad example let's go to about um, and I'm actually going to turn pretty URLs on I'm going to go to intelligent search and start typing pretty you can see it auto completes to pretty URLs this is a dashboard page I'm just going to check this checkbox and hit save and as long as you can automatically write to the HT access file on the server, which on this site we can, we should now have pretty URLs on. You can see now when I click about, instead of having that index PHP in the URL field, it just says slash about. So now let's go into properties. <clears throat> Back to page path and location. You can see this has changed. And we can actually add additional paths that uh, will 301 redirect to this page. So perhaps I want to do bout underscore us and learn all about us. So now as I save these, if someone were to go to a direct URL about underscore us, you can see it redirects them to just about, but it gives them the right page. And it also throws the correct uh, redirect header in so search engines will like you. That's all the basic ingredients that you need to do SEO. Uh, the last tip that I want to show you is the bulk SEO tool. If you come up to intelligent search and type bulk, you will see down here in system and settings the bulk SEO updater. Uh, this is a reasonably new feature in Concrete 5.6. You can see what we get here is a list of all the pages in the site with the common SEO meta fields that you need. So you can go right here, you can do a little search and just find part of the uh, pages on your site. Um, you can add a bunch of limiters on it and, and just deal with little sections. Uh, but this makes it easy for you to go through and make a bunch of changes quickly. So uh, just a page title here. See, as soon as I start changing stuff, this button changes to green. Um, you can change the keywords. I can go through each and every one of these rows. You'll also notice some of these are grayed out. This meta title field being gray or the meta description being gray, that means it's just inheriting it from the page name and the page description. So this is being automatically generated. It's just going to use the site name colon colon page name. Um, as soon as I start typing here, it's it, behind the scenes, it's automatically adding that custom attribute for a title that we talked about. Um, and you can see I've got a couple of rows that have changed now, two green save buttons. I could either hit save right here, or I could go all the way to the bottom of this page and hit update all. And that will change, save all the changes that I've just made. Uh, if you've got a lot of changes to make across your whole site, this is a great way to do it very quickly. Uh, this also would keep you from having to train an SEO manager on in-context editing in the properties window. Uh, the only thing this doesn't let you do is change the alt tags on images. Uh, there's just too many different ways to deal with that, and um, that's not the point of this report. Those are the basic ingredients that you need to do all the SEO work. Uh, there's some more how-tos on advanced SEO techniques, uh, things like sitemap.xml and uh, optimizing your, your site uh, for search engines and um, ways that uh, are appealing to you as a developer or an SEO expert. Uh, but if you're looking to just make sure that you're getting your basic SEO work done, that should pretty much cover it.